The Dominic Smith Electrical Senior Football Championship Final takes centre stage as the Blue Ribbon event of Wexford Football at 3 p.m. in Chadwick's Wexford Park on this Sunday afternoon. Castletown are 12 times winners of the Senior uh, Football Championship. Gusron six time winners, two great football clubs uh, within the county. They met in the final in 2019. It was a, a, a real open game of football that day. It was Castletown 316, Gusron 210. Um, and there's still loads, like the loads of those players are like they're really hitting their peak years now for both teams. Like so, this has the makings of a belter lad Sunday. Uh, can't wait for it. Really, I mean, two teams who are played similar styles coming up against each other. They're going to have to tweak it, I suppose, to to get their advantages. But two really athletic teams, two teams who who like to defend when it's needed and attack at speed when that's needed then when they turn the ball over and it's just a matter of this game is going to be won by getting matchups right you know especially when you look at Gushran's forwards I mean Mini Ryan has scored 6-13 this year like from playing most of it and uh, Mark Rossiter 5-25 amazing yeah. I mean that's yeah. just crazy like you know and I saw him a few occasions and they don't give up their, their supporters must be on a roller coaster of emotion going to their games because do you know they came back. They nearly, nearly caught the shells with a, with a comeback. St James's six minutes to go, six points down, seven points down. Came back, and you know they never gave up. The last day, for all intents and purposes, that was cross the bags to win. Bushron never gave up. They just did not give up, and they yep. came back. And you know at the core of all that, really, I mean, if you look at the last game and you see a fella turning the ball over on his own 13-yard line, and it was Mini Ryan. And he'd cramp and he and he back there working yeah. hard and he epitomizes everything about Gustron really. I know he's the joint captain, I think, with John Roach. And he's just I don't think I think there's a manager in the county that wouldn't like him in their panel, you know. Um Castletown are a machine in my opinion, like they're just a machine. They're there year after year. They know their jobs are well drilled. Jimmy Fogarty is doing a great job. And you know, Liam Coleman's a massive loss, but if any team in the county can absorb a loss like that, Castletown can. You know, and when you come to this game, you're kind of thinking, does Gushra need to play to their peak and does Castletown need to have not an off day, but just one of those days that, you know, shots go wide and, and stuff like that. But it, you really, it's one of these county finals you're going in and you just wouldn't be surprised who wins, to be honest with you. Yeah. And it, it's just one really looking forward to. Yeah, same here, Colm. Um, I think Gushra, uh, probably, if you were to sum up Gushra, I think you'd say they're probably the, the best team in the county for getting the best out of what they have. You know, they're, they're just, everybody knows how good their forwards are. I mean, you you haven't put a, a target on their backs by telling them what they've scored this year because the, the whole county knows yeah. who their main men are. But they have they have three or four forwards who can do the scoring. But the guys, these guys, even though they're, they're double teamed and they're well marked, they still come up with the scores. You know, they're, they're, they're a great team to watch. I think they're a great football club. They're, they're just they're just a joy to watch. They don't give up, you know, and they're they're coming up against the kingpins of, of Wexford football, twelve senior champions, you know. This is to put them two ahead of anybody else. Um the, the scoring stats, I mean, they have uh, Robbie Brooks has scored seven eleven on his own this year. Uh, and his brother Dara's four so four seven eleven is a sweet smelling <laughs> yeah. scoring uh, <laughs> for, for for the Castletown supporters. But they are uh, he, he's He's phenomenal. Again, you know he's going to get the scores for him. It's very hard to stop getting the ball for him. Uh, Ross Cody, excellent in defence. Jonathan Beale is chipping in with his with his his scores. You know he's back after being away in, in Germany. Connor Carty, he's like a, a Stevie Gerrard, a GA at the moment. He's he's controlling everything from centre forward. He can go back wing back. He's just all over the place. But he's so experienced and so skillful. Rory Heffernan back again. You know back midfield and it, Brendan Halpin chipping in with his scores. I think Castletown are just so well organised. They yeah. have a plan for everything. They're meticulous with their preparation. They're meticulous about the team they're playing against. Now I know Gus Ram will do the same as them, but I just think Castletown seem to bring it to a to a next level. And I think that's uh, if ever a game is going to be won and lost on the line, I think it could be Sunday. It could be this final on Sunday, which is you yeah. know maybe a silly thing to say. Some people might think, but we always say, oh, that game was lost yeah. on the line. But this one can be won on the line. Yeah, and like I was just going to maybe to to, go, to kind of go through the teams. Like if we were to say like, you know, which is the best defence of the two teams? Like, and maybe which is the best midfield? Obviously, Liam Cohen was a huge loss for awesome Castletown. Yeah. Like, I mean, he'd probably be if you could transfer a player into your own club, like from any club, and he'd be probably the top of the list. Like, he'd be in everybody's fantasy team. And <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, 
um, and maybe so Colin maybe just if you're to compare the defences which would you see it being the better or is it like it's not really uh, just six defenders now it's like yeah. 12 and 13 yeah, defenders yeah it's all about shape nowadays really rather than I mean you have you know, shut down you know cornerbacks as we call them to, to, to try and, and nullify the marquee players um, you know Gushan have three Parry Conways in there as well you know and he's really hit form mm. and uh, and but I take you know it, it sometimes it's it's rather than talk about the defense as a whole it's sometimes the link people that are the, the key to, to success and Gushan for instance they, they have two with Panther and probably the most underrated senior footballer in the last 10 years is Kenneth Cal yes always comes up with the goods he made a great save, although I don't think many will thank it for him the last day. But uh, always comes up with the goods, always chips in with the score at the right time. And he's literally unmarkable because I've tried it myself to, to, to man mark him. He just shows up everywhere in all areas of the field and doesn't hold on to the ball, gets rid of it. Panther has probably a little bit more skill about him, that he's able to, his passing range is probably a little bit better. Uh, he's a key component still to Gushran. He makes him tick. He gets the good ball inside, and the boys then either if they, if they can create separation, they'll shoot. If they can't, someone's on the loop all the time. So I mean, just dropping back and 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 staying in the zone, it doesn't work against Gushran because they're always moving, and there's always one of them able to score and willing to score. Castletown. They have really tough, fit guys back there. I mean, you're going to get nothing easy off of them. And, and guys who can transition up the field very easily, well-built, highly athletic guys. They probably have a little bit more athleticism to gush on coming forward. Um, but, uh, you know, to compare the two of them, I think it's it, they're too similar, really, yeah. to, to compare them as units. Um, they're, it, it, I just I can't see a defensive stalemate on Sunday. I actually think it's going to be a shootout, yeah. and and I think that's what the whole, most of the people in the county are going to see. I just the weather is, is not not supposed to be too bad, and the, I just think it's going to be just let's go at this thing. Will it be like the old, the shootout of the Matty Ford and and Shane, Shane Cullen, Cullen. Cullen, one of the well, great shootouts goes around and, and yeah. Sh Nair Shane and uh, Shane and <coughs> and Shane and and, and Eamon Whelan definitely deserve a mention as well. Yeah. What they've done with that team yeah. over the last few years is. Yeah. It's incredible. And, and of course, the thoughts for Graham, who's missing out of because of an injury. Yeah, the it, county team yeah. You know, always enjoy watch Graham playing. Ones, yeah. Always enjoy watch Graham playing. He plays the game differently than most people. Yeah. He sees things He's, that other people don't see in games. The, the, the counter attacking lads, the, the speed of this on Sunday is going to be great to watch. Like this is where, like, and I see, like, when when Castle and played Sarsis, Billy, really, like, they were able to adapt to what Sarsis were trying to do. They'd sit there and sit, sit there, there, and then we get the ball. And like that, That's up it, the field, they, they, two or three passes, bang, score. They yeah. soak up pressure and they just do it so well. They're so well organised and then as, as you say, in seconds, the ball is at the other end of the field in the scoring zone and usually they're finishing it. And you very rarely see Castletown hitting a 70-30 ball to a forward. Yeah. It's always in the forward's favour, you yes. know what I mean? Yeah. And you know, they're mis you know, compared to, we say, is, is this their first year without Ben? Yeah. Yep. And nobody's talking about that. You know, and as good a player as Ben is at yeah. finish and stuff like that, they've just taken his scores and spread them out around the team. Yeah, they met in the semi final last year, and it was uh, Castle Down came out by four points that, and sure, Castle Down then were beaten in the final by the Shelmaliers last year. So they're like they're in five out of six finals, lads. Yeah. So they're like they're a serious team to keep coming back. And as I said, like it's not a particularly old team either, like. Yeah, I'm not, I remember two years ago. Uh, when we were playing Shelmaliers in the final and we did a preview on it and I think we were probably the best source of inspiration for them because we fe they felt disrespected by the way we were comparing uh, players against players so we won't make that mistake this year <laughs> because they are, they, look at they are a brilliant team they have the best record over the last 7-8 years they keep coming up trumps to keep their winning league finals they're, winning, they're getting the county finals, they're winning county finals and they're going to be very, very hard you're, to beat this. You're summer. nearly guaranteed that Ch or the Castletown are, are a semi finalist at the start yeah. of the year. That they're they're all mad yeah. that way. Like mm -hmm. they're just so consistent, mm -hmm. so consistent. But the big day, consistency is not enough on the big day. You need a bit of emotion, and you need stuff to go right for you as well. So we'll, you know, it's it's a Anything matter of happen, that's yeah. Best of County players. final week, lads, is great in the club, isn't it? Or, and I suppose like that's one of the benefits of going back to the week on, week off, that you actually have a kind of a proper lead into a county final now for the teams. It's a, it's a great week. Uh, maybe to share some of your own memories of county final weekends. Yeah, it's a long time since I had one, but no, they were all they're, look. Any any county final is brilliant for for a club and for a team. You know, the, the excitement and I, I know I 
but the few, the few times I was in the final, I couldn't sleep for days before it and nervous energy and you know, you just try and leave it all out on the field on the day, but the build up to it and everybody's talking about it and you're trying to avoid them and you know, they, but I mean the Castletown and uh, the players are different now, I think, you know, the, it's just water off the ducks back to most of them. You'll have a couple of them will be nervous, the rest will be. Can you can you see Panther being nervous? Yeah. Can you see Conor Carty being nervous? You know, it's just human emotions. Yeah. Some, some, some lads will take, <coughs> take a few days leading into it off work. Mm. So, some lads will get off a tractor an hour before they're supposed <laughs> to be in the pitch. It, it just yeah. depends on your personality yeah. really or whatever. But as, as a management team, they're just trying to keep the thing low key while soaking in. It's a fine balance really, isn't it? Yeah, you're trying to tell a player, look, it's only another game. It's another... Pitch is the same size as everybody else, but everybody knows it's not that. Yeah. But as as yeah. Colin says, how you deal with it emotionally, that you don't leave your your energy, your emotional energy, yeah. at home two days before it or a day before it. That you have to save as much energy physically and mentally as you can for the, for the final. Itself. Yes, sometimes you can get go the other way though. That you're 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 so relaxed. Rela no, or you're you're wanting to to win so badly. Yeah. And you have all these stuff thrown at you, like parades and stuff that you're not normally doing mm. for a club player. Yeah. And then the game starts and, and all the razzmatazz is gone and it's just a game and it takes a while sometimes to get into it or, or feel the way into it. So a fast start is, 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 is worth its weight in gold. You remember Horswood a good few years ago against Kyle and Aaron, they just blew him out of water in the first That's few right, minutes yeah. and there's no coming back sometimes. Yeah. The emotion gets gets in, but that team went on to win four. Yeah. Do you know? So... It, it, it's not these lads have been through the block before the core of these teams are after playing exactly, the county yeah. finals it's no it's not to them Gushron have one under their belt a lot of the lads have, but then some of the lads don't and they're going to want that what don't other lads have that, yeah. so you know yeah, and that's the, the only two teams can be in it you, you know yeah. at the start of the year that's the goal but only two teams can be in it so you just they're as, lucky ones yeah but yeah. even as, as a spectator going to a county final week is something special for mm. a football fan or a hurling fan and it's it's really something you look forward to so imagine what, how the players are feeling yeah. you know while the coaching staff are trying to get their plans in place and dampen their own expectations and their own giddiness for all intents and purposes yeah like as well like and I've seen it over the years like it's normally like you, you know we're, we're talking with the real big players the accounted players and all that but then it's you know one of the lesser players who stands up big big chumps on the day and gets the man of the match award yeah. that. Like, so there's always a someone comes from the pack on the day isn't there yeah. like Ricky Fox a few years ago with the, the hot the, dog the uh, point, you yeah, know the stuff point, like that yeah. it, it really the memorable it, it, moments they are often, yeah often and come, everyone yeah. wants them you know yeah. so Yes. Look, I'm really looking forward to this yeah. game now, and and you know after losing the semi final, you, you kind of hate sport or whatever. But then you have these things to pick you up and go watch these spectacles, yeah. and you know, and I'm hoping there's a massive crowd up in it. Yeah, so we'll 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 put our uh, necks on the line here now, lads, for the the Dominic Smith Electrical Senior Football Championship final. It's Castletown and Gusron. Uh, Billy, where are you calling it? Well, to, to keep Shane Cullen, Graham Cullen, Derry Cullen happy, I'm actually tipping Castletown. I think. Their experience and uh, just their their know-how, I think, I think by a couple of points in a close game, and I hope an exciting game out. Okay, and Colm? I'm going to go for the the mystique of the Wexford Football Championship and have a new winner this year. I think Gushron are just having one of those years that I think they're going to pull it out of the bag on Sunday. Yeah, and I've I've noticed in. Uh, in recent weeks and I've just been keeping an eye on results and stuff and I called a draw for the semi-final the Gus Ron and Cross the Big game and I, I just for some reason I see that this Sunday is going to be one of those days where it actually is a draw in the county final and we might get to see another day of it but I uh, you know I think they're two very good teams as, as you said lads I would appeal to everyone to get into Wexford Park on Sunday if you're a football fan this is going to be a humdinger of a county final and uh, I'm going for a draw sitting firmly on the fence <laughs> We'll take the splinters out after. Yeah. <laughs>